Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV RS. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. There's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. One thing that's a little different is that you don't have a start-stop button. To power the vehicle on, just hop on in, have the key fob on you, then just press the brake pedal. You can turn the vehicle off a couple of different ways. Let's say you're out and about and get to your destination, you place the vehicle in park, take your seatbelt off and open up the driver's door, it'll power down automatically. But, you know, if we're just sitting here like we are right now and want to turn it off, you can just go within the infotainment system right here, hit that off button, vehicle off, and that shuts it down. With the new Blazer EV, Chevrolet's new generation electric vehicle portfolio is expanding to make EV ownership more accessible and drive the brand into the growing mid-size electric crossover segment. Its most direct competitors include the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Tesla Model Y, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Honda Prologue, and the Volkswagen ID.4. The Blazer EV is based on GM's innovative Ultium platform and, aside from the name, has no relation to the gas-powered Blazer. It offers two spacious rows of seats, great road manners, and competitive range. What stands out about the Blazer EV is that it doesn't look unconventional. While some of the EV's space-age quirkiness can be quite fun, it is easily overdone. The Blazer EV is more traditional in nature, but at the same time, it's a fresh, modern design that not only looks tasteful, but sporty. I believe it's not only a great option to consider if you're thinking of making the transition to an EV, but it's just a well-rounded crossover in general. Each of the models share a muscular, athletic profile with taut, converging body lines that convey motion. Prominent front fender extractor appliques are a nod towards Chevy's motorsports legacy. The LT features a monochromatic appearance and standard 19-inch wheels, while the RS strikes a sportier presence with a black grille and other black accents, along with standard 21-inch wheels. The SS will serve up the most aggressive aesthetic, with a unique front grille, two-tone color theme featuring a black roof and A-pillars that complement the Blazer's EV color palette, standard 22-inch wheels, and more. The presence of the RS and SS were further enhanced with a bold, dual-element LED exterior lighting signature that incorporates choreographed lighting sequences, which activate when you approach or walk away. The effect features a full light bar and illuminated bow tie emblem on the front. The front lighting also conveys the state of charge as the vehicle charges. One thing in particular that I thought was quite cool was the power opening charge port door. The lineup currently consists of two models, with more to launch in the near future. The LT, which starts at $50,195, comes standard with a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup. The RS can be had in rear-wheel drive form for $56,170 or all-wheel drive form for $54,595. Those prices include destination and are before any applicable incentives and tax credits. In the future, Chevrolet plans to expand the lineup further to include front-wheel drive models and a high-performance SS model. The options list for the RS is fairly limited as it already comes pretty well equipped. The most significant optional extra shown here is the RS Convenience and Driver Confidence Package which includes a bunch of additional safety tech and additional comfort amenities, which I'll highlight in a bit. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination, is $57,215. Eight exterior colors are available for both the LT and RS. This example is finished in sterling gray metallic, which is one of the six no-cost options. 
The standard 21 inch alloy wheels on the RS are 9.5 inches wide. That's an inch wider than the 19 inch wheels found on the LT which helps improve handling. The tires are, of course, wider too, measuring 275-45. The wheels feature a machined face with black painted pockets. This setup is the same for both the rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive RS. The Bridgestone all-season tires feature the company's new Enlighten technology, which is said to lower rolling resistance, lower wear, and lower weight. They're also quiet, with minimal road noise. The braking system consists of four-wheel internally ventilated FNC disc brakes. The discs span 12.5 inches in the front and 13.6 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by twin piston and single piston calipers respectively. The pedal feel is firm and inspires confidence. Overall braking performance is excellent. The parking brake is electronic. It operates automatically, depending on the situation, but it can also be manually operated by a button on the left side of the dashboard. A selectable auto hold feature is also standard. The SS benefits from beefed up Brembo front brakes to complement its significant increase in power. Standard regen braking converts kinetic energy of the vehicle's forward momentum into electricity that's stored in the battery pack to maximize the driving range. The level of regen braking can be controlled by the paddle on the left side of the steering wheel. There's even a one pedal driving feature which is pretty common to EVs. Activated via the center display, it allows you to slow the vehicle to a full stop using only the accelerator pedal. The Blazer EV system in particular is really quite good. It doesn't replace the need for the brake pedal, but once you're used to it, you can perform most stops and slowdowns using one pedal driving. You can even customize the behavior of the system in the center screen. High mode slows the vehicle with more force. Underpinning the Blazer EV are fully independent five-link suspensions in the front and rear. The RS, being the bridge and the performance gap between the LT and the SS, offers a great balance of smooth road manners and sporty driving characteristics. The suspension is taut and responsive, but it's also quite comfortable. That's perhaps one of the biggest pluses when it comes to an EV like this. It's far more dynamic feeling behind the wheel than many comparable gas-powered crossovers, simply due to physics having the bulk of the vehicle's weight mounted low in the middle. The SS model's suspension is further tuned for better handling and sharper dynamics. The Blazer EV's continuously variable electric power steering increases or decreases the amount of assist depending on the steering wheel angle and vehicle speed. Steering assist is greater during low speed maneuvers such as parking. It's light on overall feel, but you can firm it up some if you prefer by placing the vehicle into sport mode or customize your own settings via my mode. The turning circle measures 39.7 feet. The steering wheel itself is leather wrapped and dressed up to match the RS model's sporty theme. It's manually adjustable for tilt and reach and offers quick access controls to many of the vehicle's features, including cruise control hands-free phone and voice commands, audio, and more. A heated steering wheel is standard on the RS. I'm particularly fond of the 11-inch digital instrument cluster. As with other GM vehicles I've driven as of late, the cluster offers different layouts that you can toggle between, including a full-width navigation display and one that prioritizes driver assistance features. There's even a clean layout that drops info to a bare minimum. I found the latter particularly nice when driving at night. One thing to note, the headlight controls amongst other features are now found within the controls and safety menu in the center display. The left stalk operates the wipers, turn signals, and high beams. An optional head-up display beams essential driver information onto the windshield to promote more eyes forward driving. The settings for it are also located within the controls and safety menu.
GM's Ultium platform, which again forms the foundation of the Blazer EV, is an all-new body architecture that supports multiple range options and three available drive systems, front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive. The unique large format pouch style cells can be stacked vertically or horizontally inside the battery pack. This allows engineers to optimize battery energy storage and layout for every single vehicle application, whether it be the Blazer EV, Silverado EV, Equinox EV, or any other EV models in the future. It's less about the vehicle platform itself, but more of a modular, scalable packaging strategy. The low and wide proportions of the Ultium platform and the structural positioning of the battery pack contribute to a comparatively low center of gravity that enhances driving stability. The drive units are designed in-house and essentially combine a permanent magnet electric motor with a single speed transmission to apply power to the wheels. Regardless of the drivetrain, placing the Blazer EV into gear is done with a new electronic column shifter. To place the vehicle in the drive, you pull the shifter back and down. Neutral is selected by pulling the shifter back and holding it for a moment. Reverse is selected by pulling back and up. Park is selected by pressing the button on the end of the shifter. It's pretty straightforward. The LT and RS all-wheel drive models produce 288 horsepower and 333 pound-feet of torque, which is good for a 0-60 to 60 time of around 6 seconds. The EPA certified range is 279 miles for both models. The RS rear-wheel drive slots in just below the SS when it comes to performance as it produces 340 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. It's also why it costs a little bit more than the all-wheel drive version. This is due to the fact that it uses a completely different rear motor compared to the all-wheel drive's rear motor, which serves more as a traction assist motor, not necessarily to bolster performance. It only kicks in to assist the front motor when accelerating or when the front wheels start to slip. The two drive units are not physically connected like a conventional all-wheel drive system. They work in tandem with the vehicle's onboard software. The RS rear-wheel drive shares the SS's larger 102 kilowatt hour battery pack, while the RS all-wheel drive LT all-wheel drive and LT front-wheel drive models have an 85 kilowatt hour pack. This also allows the RS rear-wheel drive to have the longest range out of any Blazer EV, 324 miles to be specific. If you live in an area where all-wheel drive isn't that important, the RS rear-wheel drive appears to be the sweet spot of the lineup that offers the best of both worlds, performance and range. The front-wheel drive model's range will likely mirror that of the SS, which is rated at 294 miles. With 577 horsepower and 648 pound-feet of torque and standard all-wheel drive, the SS will boast a sub 4 second 0-60 time. When it comes to charging performance, the Blazer EV offers an 11.5 kilowatt onboard AC charging module for home charging and public charging, along with high speed DC public fast charging capability. With the 85 kilowatt hour pack, you can recoup 68 miles of range in about 10 minutes. In that same time, with the 102 kilowatt hour pack, you can recoup about 80 miles as it charges at a faster rate of 190 kilowatt versus 150 kilowatt. An included charge cord has changeable attachment plugs for 120 volt and 240 volt or level one and level two home charging. Unless the vehicle is used sparingly, level 1 charging is not a viable option as it takes significantly longer to charge, about 4 miles per hour. This is compared to level 2 which recoups about 21 miles per hour. With the appropriate home charging station you can recoup about 31 miles of range per hour. Actual charging times will vary based on battery condition, output of the charger, vehicle settings, and outside temperature. 
The RS all-wheel drive in particular has an EPA miles per gallon equivalent rating of 103 city and 88 highway, with a combined average of 96. The charged door is power operated with a touch sensitive button which is honestly pretty cool. An LED light ring helps illuminate the charge port at night. As I touched on earlier, the headlights and taillights have a choreographed animated light pattern while charging. What's even cooler is that the border of the Chevy emblem up front is integrated within the lighting. This example had four drive modes to choose from, normal, sport, snow, and my mode. The modes modify throttle, brake, and steering feel as well as sound. Snow mode in particular helps prioritize traction in low grip situations. Like a lot of EVs nowadays, there's sound in the background while driving. With the Blazer EV, the sound is almost like a jet engine taking off. It has three modes, normal, sport, and off. Sport is a little louder than normal, but of course if you want things super quiet, just turn it off. When properly equipped, the Blazer EV is able to tow up to 3,500 pounds when fitted with rear-wheel drive, and 1,500 pounds when fitted with all-wheel drive. The Blazer EV offers the latest charging, infotainment, and driver assistance technologies that work together to offer greater convenience, comfort, and confidence when it comes to EV ownership. A major enabler of the Blazer EV's technologies is Ultify, GM's new end-to-end -end vehicle software platform. It separates the vehicle's software from the hardware to enable the frequent and seamless delivery of software-defined features, apps, and services to customers over the air. Ultify will allow customers to continue to upgrade and personalize their vehicle as improvements and features become available over time. The two-row interior layout offers ample spaciousness and storage options thanks to a flat floor enabled by packaging of the Ultium platform. As I showed you all earlier, with the new hands-free start system, you simply push the brake pedal to power the vehicle on. The key fob authorizes the hands-free start system. Like the exterior, many of its elements draw inspiration from Chevrolet's sports cars and performance heritage, such as a flat bottom steering wheel for the RS and SS trims and sculpted turbine inspired air vents. Unique design cues of the RS include black and red contrasting stitching. There are two color options, all black or two-tone black and adrenaline red. The seat upholstery is a combination of perforated suede and Evotex synthetic leather. Overall quality of the fit and finish I thought was quite good. It's a little on the utilitarian side with the all black interior, but it's comfortable, roomy, and quiet. The front seats have 8-way adjustment for the driver and 6-way adjustment for the passenger and include 2-way power lumbar. The headrests and seat belts are vertically adjustable. A memory system includes the driver's seat and side mirror positions. Heated and ventilated front seats are standard on the RS and SS. The expansive 17.7 inch touchscreen is the focal point of the cabin and the command center of the vehicle's infotainment and additional features. Despite the heavy screen presence, there's still a decent range of hard buttons for essential controls, including a volume knob. Basic climate controls can be found at the bottom of the center display, both hard buttons and digital. In-depth climate controls are found within the climate menu. It's a dual zone automatic system. Seat heating and cooling can also be found in the climate menu. The center display has nice graphics and is very well incorporated into the overall design of the dashboard. 
It provides a wide range of useful information, connected apps, and personalized profiles, but is one of the first GM vehicles to not include Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. GM announced a while back that they believe they can deliver a more curated experience through further development of their own infotainment system. Although it does include popular apps such as Google Maps, Waze, and Spotify. I admittedly was not a fan of this originally and I still wish that they would include the technologies for those who have used them long term, but truth be told, I thought this was an excellent infotainment system that did everything I wanted it to do without fuss. It's intuitive and responsive. Despite all of the included features, it doesn't take long to familiarize yourself with it. Media options include AM FM radio, Sirius XM with 360L, Bluetooth streaming, USB connection, Google News, and Amazon Alexa. A 5G Wi-Fi hotspot is included too. The RS and LT come standard with a six speaker audio system that offers a nice balanced sound with surprisingly good power for not being a branded system. An eight speaker Bose audio system is available. The navigation system which works well and looks great on the large screen can even help locate and plot routes based on charging stations in your current range. The screen can also be divided up to display a combination of audio, navigation, and trip information. Google Assistant serves as your natural voice recognition and assistance system that allows you to operate many in-vehicle features hands-free. There's a whole section for EV-related stuff too, such as a list of all of the area charging stations and your estimated state of charge upon arrival to different stations. You can create charging schedules, modify the levels to which the battery will charge to, set up cabin preconditioning, prep for fast charging if needed, and more. Tire pressure, energy usage, and trip information can be displayed with high-res interactive infographics or traditional menus, which makes for a pretty neat experience. With Google Play, you have a vast library of apps that can be downloaded to the system and used just like you would have through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Honestly, after a week of living with this system, I didn't miss my CarPlay near as much as I thought I would with everything being so well integrated. The Blazer EV offers a wide array of standard and available safety technologies. The standard Chevy Safety Assist Suite includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision alert, front pedestrian braking, rear park assist, blind zone steering assist, safety alert seat, rear seat reminder, following distance indicator, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and IntelliBeam automatic high beam assist. This example, with the RS Convenience and Driver Confidence package, adds even more stuff, such as a head-up display, adaptive cruise control, an HD surround vision camera system, a rear camera mirror, heated wiper park, enhanced automatic emergency braking, intersection automatic emergency braking, reverse automatic braking, rear pedestrian alert, and side bicyclist alert. Additional safety tech includes Buckle to Drive and Teen Driver, as well as OnStar and Chevrolet Connected Services. The airbag system includes frontal airbags, seat matted side impact airbags, and knee airbags for the driver and front passenger, as well as head curtain airbags for the front and rear outboard seating positions. The Blazer EV offers a generous rear seat that can sit three adults comfortably. There's plenty of leg and hip room. The flat floor and wide middle section are very practical in making sure everyone has the space they need without compromise. Headroom is quite good too. Keep in mind this example did not have the available panoramic sunroof. While I am a huge fan of them for how open and airy they can make the interior feel, there can be a trade-off with headspace. I have not had a chance to compare to see how much of a compromise there would be in a Blazer EV, it's just something to be aware of. 
I had more than enough headroom left over in this example and I'm 5 foot 10 inches. It's also worth noting that the rear seat is quite comfortable and a nice place to sit for an extended period of time. The backrest can be reclined so you can kick back, relax, or even take a nap. All three headrests are adjustable vertically. When not in use, the middle headrest retracts into the backrest for better rearward visibility. In the rear of the center console, there's two large adjustable air vents to help keep passengers comfortable. Beneath the air vents is a pair of USB-C charge outlets. Heated rear outboard seats are standard on the SS and available on the RS. Additional standard amenities shown here include overhead LED lighting, grab handles and coat hooks on either side, a fold-down center armrest with cup holders, seat back storage pockets, lower door pockets, and child seat anchors. For convenience, the tailgate can open hands-free when the key fob is recognized by the sensors at the back of the vehicle. The Blazer EV does not come with a spare wheel, tire, or tire inflator kit. The tires feature a permanently installed internal sealant layer that surrounds a puncture object or fills the hole once the object is removed to help prevent air leakage and to maintain tire pressure. The sealant technology can help seal tread punctures up to quarter inch in diameter. When it comes to cargo, the vehicle's dimensions make for a generous volume out back. The wheelbase spans 122 inches, and overall length is 192.6 inches. Height and width, not including the side mirrors, come in at 65 and 78 inches respectively. This example, without the sunroof, has 25.5 cubic feet of space behind the rear seat. Fold it down completely for 59.1 cubic feet of total space. Additional trunk amenities include LED lighting on either side, cargo hooks in the floor, and additional storage beneath the floor. A cargo privacy cover is optional. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too and make sure you turn those notifications on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.